Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to be comparing and exploring three incredible tools that are changing the way we visualize information. These tools are Whimsical AI Diagrams, Show Me Diagrams and Eraser right here on ChatGPT. Each of these tools offer unique features and capabilities, making them valuable assets in different scenarios. Whether you are a student, a professional or just someone who loves organizing thoughts visually, then you are in for a treat. First up, we have the Whimsical AI Diagrams. Whimsical allows users to create flowcharts, wireframes, mind maps and more with ease. Next, we have the Diagram Show Me. This tool is a favorite for those who need quick, straightforward diagram solutions. This tool is all about simplicity and speed. With just simple prompts, you can turn complex data into clear, understandable diagrams and it is perfect for on-the-go professionals. Last but definitely not the least, we have Eraser in ChatGPT. This plugin is a game changer for ChatGPT users. It allows you to create diagrams directly from your text conversations. The ease with which Eraser translates text into visual diagrams is simply astounding. It's like having a visual assistant right in your chat. So which one of these tools is right for you? For this video, we are going to be comparing these three plugins on the basis of five specific prompts. Let's go ahead and see how these plugins can generate response for these selected prompts. So firstly, I'm going to run all of the selected prompts on the AI Diagrams plugin. So the first thing that you need to do is to log into your OpenAI ChatGPT account. And once you're inside the page, you need to have ChatGPT4 in order to access the ChatGPT plugins. And if you have access to the ChatGPT plugins, then you simply have to click on this arrow and see that plugins have been enabled. Now, in order to install a new plugin, you have to click on this button. Scroll all the way down and you will see the options the plugin store. Click on it and from the search bar you have to type AI diagrams. And once you do that, you will see this purple plugin here and you simply have to click on the install button. So once you do that, you will see that on this list you will have the plugin available. So here I have a list of all the plugins. Out of these plugins, you have to look for the AI diagram plugin having the purple logo. So this is the plugin, you simply have to select this checkbox in order to enable the plugin. Now, once the plugin is enabled, the only thing that is left to actually run the prompts on ChatGPT. So firstly, I need to check whether the AI Diagrams plugin can create flowcharts or not. So for that, I'm going to prompt it, create a flowchart for Slack app authentication flow. Hit enter and wait for it to generate the response. You'll see that ChatGPT is using the AI diagram and the response is being generated. You can see that it has successfully generated a flowchart for us showing the Slack app authentication flow that the authentication starts, then requests the temporary code. If the user is authorized, then it exchange code for tokens. If it is not authorized, then authentication field and an authentication process. So this means that AI Diagram plugin is able to generate flowcharts for us. So now let's move towards our next prompt. Using this prompt, we want to test whether the AI Diagrams plugin is able to create class diagram using a simple prompt or not. And for that, we are going to give it the prompt, create a class diagram for the library management system. So this is a very basic use case in order to create any diagram. Let's see if AI Diagrams plugin can create it. Hit enter and wait for it to generate the response. Okay, so the response is being generated. It is giving us the link and you can see that it has given us a weird looking diagram in place of class diagram. So this is clearly not the class diagram for the library management system, although it have all the components which are present inside the class diagram, but the proper notations and the symbols for depicting the class diagram are clearly missing. So we cannot consider it to be a class diagram. This means that AI Diagrams plugin is unable to create class diagram from a prompt. Let's move one step ahead. And now I'm going to check whether the AI Diagrams plugin is able to generate graph diagrams for us or not. So I'm going to say generate directed graph for five biggest airports in the US with the edges between every pair and each edge labeled with the flight distance between the two airports. And let's see if it can generate the directed graph for us or not. And also for getting the information about the biggest airports and the distance, I am using the Wolfram plugin, which will provide information about all of these things, which we have asked in the prompt. So you will see that firstly, it will use the Wolfram plugin in order to get information about the five biggest airports and the distance between the airports of the US. Then after the data is fetched, then it will use the AI diagram plugin to generate the diagram. All right. So the 
response has been generated and you can see that we have a directed graph showing the top five biggest US airports along with the distance between the two airports written on the edges. And you can see that here we have an option to view or edit this diagram in Whimsical. So if I click on it, it is going to redirect us to the whimsical.com and here we have our diagram open and you can easily edit the field of the diagram, the color of the boxes, the values and anything that you want to update. So that's a good point of AI diagram that it allows you to edit the generated diagram too. So this means that AI Diagrams plugin is able to generate directed graph diagrams for us. Let's increase our difficulty level and this time I'm going to check whether the AI Diagrams plugin is able to generate class diagram and sequence diagram from the provided code or not. In order to check it, I'm going to prompt it to generate the class diagram and the sequence diagram for the following code and here we have the code for the observer pattern. Let's hit enter and see whether it is able to generate the class diagram and sequence diagram from the code for us or not. Alright, so the response has been generated and you can see that once again for the class diagram, it has given us this diagram. Although it shows us the class's name, the attributes and the method, but it does not show us the relationship between these classes, which is the main point of creating a class diagram. So we cannot consider this diagram to be a class diagram. Let's go ahead and check our sequence diagram. Okay, so it has created the sequence diagram for us and it seems to be correct that when the broadcaster will call the notify weather function of the weather class then it in turn will notify firstly the Samsung weather with the temperature and also the AIY news with the temperature so this is the observer pattern so the AI diagrams plugin was able to generate the sequence diagram from the code but it was unable to generate the class diagram for us. Now let's check our last prompt which is to create a mind map. So let's see if this plugin can create mind maps or not. So I'm gonna prompt it. The topic is how to create a flip book with flip builder and I wanted to create a mind map on the above topics. Hit enter and let's see how it responds to our prompt. The response has been generated and once again it has given us this diagram and previously the so plugin called it the class diagram now it is calling it a mind map but it seems much closer to a mind map having a central part these are the branches of the mind map and these are all the sub branches of these branches so this seems to be like a mind map and we can actually consider it to be a mind map so this means that the AI diagrams plugin is able to generate mind maps too now let's go ahead and see how these prompts perform for the show me diagrams plugin. So I have already installed the plugin into my chat GPT and if you click on it, you have to look for the plugin in your plugins list. So scroll all the way up and here is the plugin. You can simply enable it by selecting this checkbox. Okay, so our plugin is enabled. Now we are all set to prompt this plugin. So firstly, I'm going to see whether this plugin can generate flowcharts for us or not. So I'm going to give it the same prompt that says create a flowchart for the Slack app authentication flow. Hit enter and wait for it to generate the response using the show me diagrams plugin. The response is generated and you can see that it has given us a beautiful flowchart showing us the Slack app authentication flow. And you can see that this flowchart is much more detailed as compared to the one generated by the AI Diagrams plugin. You can see different options for the authentication request. You can see how it is redirected to the login page, what happens there, how the error message is generated and all the details that are part of the authentication of the Slack app. And if you scroll down, you have the option to view the diagram in the full screen. You have the option to edit the diagram, but you can see that it says edit with code. So let's see this. So the show me plugin enables you to edit the diagram by changing the code as well. You can change the parts of your diagram by changing this code that is provided to you in the mermaid live editor. And you also have the option to download the image from here. You can save it. You can upload it somewhere else. So that's a really cool thing. Because in AI Diagrams plugin, you only have the option to directly edit the diagram from the interface, but you did not have any code for it. But in case of Show Me plugin, you have the code as well. So you can edit the diagram using the code too. And you have the option to edit with the Miro using drag and drop. So here is our diagram on the Miro board. You can see that this is a flowchart and you can easily edit it using the drag and drop option. So the show me plugin enables you to edit the diagram both via the code and via drag and drop as well. Whereas the AI diagrams plugin 
only allows you to edit the diagram using the drag and drop method. So all of this shows that this plugin is able to generate flowcharts for us. Now let's see if it is able to create class diagrams from the prompt or not. So for that, we are going to prompt it, create a class diagram for the library management system. Hit enter. All right. So it has generated a beautiful class diagram for us showing three classes, their attributes and method along with the relationship between the classes such as this one where multiple members can register to a single library and member can borrow a book. Similarly, a library contains multiple books. So this is the correct class diagram along with correct notations which are used for the class diagram. So this means that this plugin is able to generate class diagram for us using the prompt and you also have the option to edit it using the code. Cool. So now let's see if it is able to generate the directed graphs for us or not. For that, I'm going to prompt it. Generate directed graph for five biggest airport and this is the same prompt that which we given to the AI diagrams plugin as well. Now let's see how this plugin responds to this prompt. And here is the response for our prompt. You can see that we have a directed graph for our prompt and you can see that there are all the arrows along with the miles on the edges just like we prompted. But you can see that this diagram is a bit meshed up, but you can always go ahead and edit this diagram either using the code or using the drag and drop method. So this plugin is also able to generate graph diagrams for us. Now let's move one step further and see if it can generate class diagram and sequence diagram from the provided code or not. So I'm gonna provide it the same prompt and the same code which I provided to the AI diagrams plugin that generate class diagram and sequence diagram from the following code. And this is the same code representing the observer pattern. Let's see if this plugin is able to generate the class diagram and sequence diagram for us or not. Okay, so it has generated the class diagram and the sequence diagram for us. So you can see that it has clearly depicted the observer pattern using the classes name that we have provided in the code. And you can see that in the class diagram, it has shown us all the relationships the attributes and the methods for all the classes. And the best part is it was able to depict that this weather is actually an interface or in other words, it is an abstract class. So that's a really cool thing. Then you can always go ahead and edit this diagram using the code. Then scroll down and you can see that here we have the sequence diagram and the sequence diagram is also exactly but is being depicted using the code and you can always go ahead and edit this diagram using the code. So that's really cool that this plugin is also able to generate class diagram and sequence diagram from the code as well. So this can be very helpful for people who have code and want to generate different UML diagrams for their code. They can simply use this plugin in order to generate these diagrams. And lastly, we are going to test whether it is able to generate mind maps or not. So I'm going to provide it the same prompt that this is the topic, create a mind map on the topic above. Hit enter and see how it responds. Here is the response for our prompt and you can see that it has provided us quite colorful mind map. And this is the central part of our mind map and apparently these big reptiles rectangles represent the main branches and these small rectangles represent the sub branches of these branches but it is not clearly visible that which are branches and which are sub branches you have to clearly look at the image and figure it out but overall it has created the mind map for us which is really cool so now let's move towards our third and the last plugin which is the eraser plugin and see how it performs for these prompts so i have already installed the plugin you simply have to enable it browse through your list of available plugins and you will see the eraser plugin like this you simply have to enable it and once the plugin is enabled then you are good to go so firstly, we are going to test whether this plugin is able to generate flowcharts for us or not. So we are going to provide it the same prompt which says create a flowchart for the Slack app authentication flow. The response has been generated and apparently it has provided us something. Let's see what it is. It is clearly not a flowchart but it is actually more like a sequence diagram and this image is quite small. I can't see what is written inside it. Moreover, there is no option to actually view it in the full screen mode or edit it. So I will not consider this to be a flowchart. This means that the eraser plugin is not able to create flowcharts for us. Let's move towards our next prompt and check whether it is able to create class diagrams from prompts or not. So I'm going to provide it the prompt to create a class diagram for the library management system. And let's see if it can create this diagram or not. In the response, it is saying that here is a description of the classes and their relationships. It has listed on all the classes, their attributes, their methods and the relationships, but it has not 
given us any visual representation and it says if you need a visual representation for further details please let me know so i'm gonna ask it to provide me visual representation so i'm gonna say provide its visual representation and now let's hope it will create the class diagram with the correct notations okay so it is giving us the visual representation for the provided diagram and you can see that here we have the class diagram for the library management system but it is not actually class diagram according to the notations because the methods or the functions are not listed here and this is not the notation of the class diagram so this means that the eraser plugin is not able to create the correct class diagram from prompts for us now let's see if this plugin is able to generate directed graphs for us or not so for that i'm going to provide it the same prompt and wait for it to generate the response you can see that it is fetching the data using the wolf from plugin and now it is using the eraser to generate the diagram and now in place of the diagram it says that it is unable to generate a directed graph with the specific flight distances so instead it will provide me only the top five airports of the us and the in distance between each of these airports in textual form but not visually so this means that this plugin is unable to generate the graph diagrams for us let's go ahead and see if it is able to generate class diagram and sequence diagram from the provided code or not. So for that, I'm going to provide it the prompt to generate the class diagram and the sequence diagram for the code, which actually represents the observer pattern. Let's see if it is able to create the diagrams or not. The response for the prompt has been generated, but it is saying that unfortunately, I cannot provide a video representation of these diagrams. So you can see that it has provided the information about the classes their fields and their methods but it is not able to create the diagrams for us this means that this plugin is unable to generate sequence diagram and class diagram from the code let's move towards our last prompt in which we are going to test if this plugin is able to generate mind maps or not so i'm going to prompt it how to create a flip book with lib builder this is the topic and create a mind map on this topic hit enter and let's see if it can generate the mind map or not all right this is the response of our prompt but you can see that nothing is visible but if we open it in a new tab only then we can see the image but the eraser plugin on its own does not provide us any option to view the diagram in the full screen mode or edit the diagram in any way and instead of combining all of these branches and sub branches to a central part it has created them into separate portions so firstly we have the introduction to flip builder and these are the two sub branches of this branch and similarly we have four other branches with their sub branches so it is partially correct to be a mind map but it is not absolutely fulfilling the notations of the mind map so we cannot consider the eraser plugin to be able to generate mind maps for us and that brings us to the end of our journey exploring these three remarkable AI diagram tools. We have seen how whimsical AI diagrams bring versatility and depth. Diagrams show me offer simplicity and speed and eraser integrates seamlessly with ChatGPT for an intuitive diagramming experience. Each tool has its own strengths catering to different needs and preferences. Whimsical AI Diagrams is ideal for those seeking a comprehensive tool with a variety of diagram types. The Diagram Show Me is perfect for quick, efficient diagram creation and it is a standout for its integration with ChatGPT, offering a unique way to visualize conversations and ideas. So whether you are a professional, a student or just someone who loves to organize thoughts visually can use one of these amazing plugins to visualize their thoughts depending upon their requirements.